I see you have an invitation. Pharaoh will gladly see you. Yes, your invitation appears to be in order. Go on in. I've been waiting so very long for the end of this wretched curse. I suppose I have you to thank for liberating me from Anubis's foul enchantment. I shall return this crown to my lord Set. But not before I crush you! It's a spider, an angry spider panther thing. They woke him up without without the Sphinx's help. Hello, I am Sobek, the chief of the Urukites. Kinsu told told us you freed him. An odd day. Hmm. Saving when you're the mummy is weird, because you can't die. Oh, he's using the crown to make the beam. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, something tells me we need one of you guys at every lever. It's over here. Door you can't open. Fair enough. All right. See if this works, or if there's something else I needed to do. Really, y'all? Okay, fine. Last one. Got it. Oh. Oh, good. I <laughs> don't wait. Oh, I made it. Ooh. Come on, any day now. No, that wasn't the one I wanted. Oh, boy. Come on! And that's how it's done. Uh-oh. You! You're the one who's been annoying me lately. You have the audacity to stop the ray. I may be dumbstruck as to how you've done it, but I know how it will end. Uh-oh. Nah. Oh, he caught me in suspended animation? He will not be a problem anymore. Activate the ray again. Master, I can activate the ray again, but no. This cannot be. The crown has disappeared. The ray can't be as powerful as before. No matter. It will provide enough protection until I find a solution. Good job, Basket. 
Got that shit from him immediately. Well, just for once, uh, at least I wasn't just standing there like an idiot while something else happened. A sacred crown of set. Six stolen Abydos jewel. The curators of the Abydos Museum will be very pleased. Okay. Whoa, you just came out of nowhere? Outstanding work, Sphinx. You have the last two sacred crowns. You should take them to Anubis, but be warned. I sense that your quest is nearing its conclusion. And once you have departed for the final battle, there will be no turning back. If you have any unfinished business, you should take care of it before you visit Anubis. Good luck, Sphinx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get 80, sca 80 Onyx Scarabs. That mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. Okay. How many, um... I only have two, so I can't... I don't even have enough to do the thing. All right, here we go. You have brought the sacred crown of Heliopolis. I knew that you would succeed. Hmm, and also you have brought the very same set's crown. Congratulations, Sphinx. This is a magnificent achievement to finally give Osiris enough power to manifest once again. Behold his mighty power and splendor. I am the light of Ra, defender of good and innocent, of the good and innocent, enemy of shadow, and the founder of the ancient prophecy of Ra, a prophecy which is rapidly drawing to an end. I built this wall eons ago to prevent my own destruction at the hands of my brother Set. All this time, my guardian Anubis has protected the wall from Set's onslaught. Cursing the palace was necessary to protect Heliopolis. Uh, but now the inhabitants are free and the demon destroyed. You are the chosen one who has fulfilled the ancient prophecy, but the ultimate outcome of your heroic actions is uncertain. Sphinx, there is one last quest you must undertake before you truly fulfill the ancient prophecy of Ra. You must ca travel to the castle of Uruk and fight Set in a final battle for the crown. Anubis must stay and defend the wall. You are our only chance. Okay. I will transport you to Uruk, but you must jump into the lava. Oh. Sir, using Set's own ethereal canals to transport him to the castle? This is a folly. That is much too dangerous. We have no choice. Set is getting stronger by the second. Now, Sphinx, now! They didn't give me a chance to read that. Whatever. They think you got like a, a, a ultra advanced reading thing, you know? Anyway, so here we are. At least we don't have to do any more mummy shit. That stuff is irritating. Whatever, I've got the shield of Osiris or whatever, so I'm not worried. Get up there. That's stupid controller bullshit, man. I, I, I swear this is a glitch with the game. But it won't let you climb any faster than blah. It's like, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? 
<laughs> and then he does that inching up the ladder bullshit like um I guess I got all my energy let's do this we're recording everything right stop recording stop capture yeah we're good let's finish this for real this time I'm guessing we gotta hide behind the rocks. That didn't work. Alright, this time I climb up the rocks and jump off. Okay, this time I don't die. the hell was that that shield is almost worthless man what am I supposed to jump how am I supposed to do this That was weird. Oh, I dodged that thing. Sucks. I wasted it. That really sucks. I was almost home free. What am I supposed to do? Fine, get there. Yes, I got it. Give me these. That sucked. The control of those things has to be perfect, man. That was ridiculous. I've been waiting for you, Sphinx, the one of prophecy. I see that my brother Osiris is not here to face me. He is too weak for such a confrontation. 
Or perhaps he is just too cowardly to stand against me. Ha 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 ha. You have done well to thwart my plan so far, but ultimately I will control the power of the Eye of Ra. You and your undead cohort have fulfilled the prophecy thus far. But I will see to it that the prophecy ends with your death and Osiris being destroyed by me. He's just like, okay. Pathetic creature, Osiris didn't tell you about my true form? Ha 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 ha! Now the time has come for you to die. And it's time for me to cheat. All right, let's see what we've got. Which way are you turning? Oh, this way, okay. They say ignore the robot, so that's what I'm gonna do. They're not moving fast enough, are they? Oh shit. Ooh. There we go. All right, that makes sense. I can't battle them at all, huh? All right, we get it. Oh, goodness. Jeez, man, those things are annoying. That was weird. I can handle that. Which way are you turning? This way? Uh Ouch. Damn you guys. Shit. <laughs> Good thing I got a lot of energy because this is tough. What the hell hit me? That sucks. I hit him. The fuck was that shit?
That was the most clever run I did. Whatever. How many times you gotta hit him? Got him. All right, guys. We did it. Excellent, Sphinx. You saved the mummy from the sets from Set's hands. Set has been severely weakened, but it's not his destiny to be destroyed. The world cannot exist without evil. Oh, just as the light of day needs to be balanced with the darkness of night. With Set weakened, he will not be able to fight. Oh shit! <laughs> Come on now. With Set weakened, he will not be able to fight his true I <laughs> true destiny. <laughs> it's not fair if they uh, all of a sudden let you know somebody's talking like halfway into your reading, man. Uh, to, to unite with his brother Osiris, this will restore the balance to the godly kingdom. Behold, the mighty Osiris has arrived. Finally, the ancient prophecy of Ra has been fulfilled. Light and darkness are one together. We will be able to live in harmony again. Sphinx and Tutankhamun, you have both been very brave to conclude this dangerous saga. How come Tutankhamun wasn't part of the prophecy, though? Sphinx, because of your actions and bravery, your name will go down in history and be remembered forever. Tutankhamun, I can give you the last canopic vase that will transform you back to your human shape and let you return to your kingdom, but nobody will remember your name. Thanks to both of you, balance will be brought to the worlds for many generations to come. More dangerous adventures will come in the future for both of you. No, they won't. But for the moment, rest and enjoy your triumph. Tutankhamun, I give you the last canopic vase with my gratitude. Don't worry, Tutankhamun. There must be another way to change you back. Perhaps other words will hold the key to your salvation. What? Oh, that's crap. We will help you find the answer. It's messed up. He was going to get married and stuff, man. He had a beautiful wife and everything. That's ridiculous.
Yo, that ending was garbage, man. He should have been able to get his body back and get married. Let me look to see if there's another one. That was... Oh, that was ass. That, that pissed me off. Yeah, so I looked it up. That's the only ending you get. They they apparently expected this game to be to have a sequel to it, and um, it didn't. I mean, eventually they might pull it in or whatever. I don't know. You know how you know how games are nowadays. They don't they don't let you do anything. But I didn't think this game was all that hot. I I thought it was normal. So I think that that ending with that with the uh, with Tutankhamun not getting his body back because he slipped and fell is the most garbage ending I've seen in quite some time. I'm trying to think of another time when the ending was really that crappy, other than you know Nintendo when they were just like congratulations or some shit like that. This junk was oh whatever. Anyway, you guys have a nice time. That's free time. Let's plays. You know what it is. Damn, sucks.